Good morning. This is Ms. Billerbeck, and we're going to talk about 3.1 expansion of the products of algebraic expressions. So if we have something like AB times B squared C, we would just expand A times B times the quantity B times B times C. And then we can group using the multiplicative uh, uh, property um, of equality, we can move these three together. So B times B times B is now together, which is B cubed. So we have A times B cubed times C. So the commutative, commutative property of multiplication allows us to do that. All right. So we're going to expand on this now. So let's say we have PQ squared times QR squared. So if we find, look at this and expand it, we have P times Q times Q times Q times R to the fourth. Well, this is just going to be P Q to the third R to the fourth. Okay, we could have also gotten it this way, P Q two plus one R to the fourth. Okay, because if you remember, there's a one right there that we wouldn't normally write. Okay, on this one, okay, if we expanded this, we'd have two times M times M times N times seven times three of these M's times N. Okay, so then if we group everything that's alike together, we have two times seven, and we have M times M times M times M times M, and then that's grouped together, and then we have N times N, so we can group that together. So this equals 14, we have five M's and we have two N's. So we would get this as an answer. Okay, we could have also just said, okay, this is gonna be two times seven, M to the two plus three, N to the one plus one, because there's really a one there and a one there. And that would have given us the same answer, 14 M to the fifth N squared. Okay, so there's two ways you could do this. If it's simple like this, you can expand. It's just if you get into some really high exponents like 14, um, you don't want to have to expand. You want to know your rules like this. So that's why you learned those rules. So now if we have a product of two expressions, you know, you've seen me do my little rainbows where I have a rainbow here and here, which means it's A times X and A times Y. If I have three in a parentheses, I do distribute the A to all three of them. So A times X, A times Y, and A times Z. So you may have seen this kind of thing and learned about FOIL. Okay, FOIL. Is first. Outer. Inner. Last. So that's what FOIL stands for. So first means we're going to do the first ones here first. And then outer, then we're going to do inner, then we're going to do last. So if we were to do FOIL, we'd have A times X. So A times X, the first 
plus a times y, the outer. And then the b plus b times x, and then b times y. Okay, and that's how this would expand. Okay, we could also put it in a box. Okay, this box is actually a very helpful organizer. So if we say this box has a length of A here and a length of B here, so we're gonna say the box length is A plus B. This length here is X and this length here is Y. So the area of a box is length times width. So if this is the, the side length here and X is a side length here, the area of this box is AX. And the area of this box is BX. And the area of this box is AY. And the area of this box is BY. And now if you add them all up, you get the same thing here, AX plus AY plus BX plus BY. Okay, so this is called the box method. This is called the FOIL method. Okay, you could also say, oh, if you had A times X plus Y plus B times X plus Y, you could get this formula right here as well, or this expression right here as well, just by distributing. So there's a number of ways you could go at this. When we start getting into more difficult expressions that we're finding the products of, or multiplying is another word for product, we really wanna be comfortable with this box method it's going to be very much easier to use than the foil, just saying. So let's look at this, we'll do both. We're gonna do foil. So first, outer, inner, last. So first would be y times y, which is y squared. Outer is plus seven Y, so seven times Y. Inner is one times Y. And last is one times seven. Okay, so that's gonna equal Y squared plus eight Y plus seven. So if we did a box, we would probably find that same thing. So if I write y here and then plus one, y here and plus seven, y times y is y squared, y times one is one y, and seven times y is seven y, and seven times one is seven. So I have y squared, plus seven Y, plus one Y, plus seven, and then I get the same answer. So there's two ways you can do it, using FOIL, directly, or using the box. All right, let's try this one. So when we do first, outer, inner last. So we have three times, three Z times three Z is three Z squared. Three Z times five is 15 Z. Negative eight times Z is minus eight Z. And negative eight times five is minus 40. So now we combine these two, which are alike, and we get three z squared and 15 minus 8 is 7z minus 40. We did the box. We 
we'd have 3z and then we're going to put a plus minus 8 and z here plus 5. So if you notice, I changed this minus to a plus minus 8 to make sure I'm going to get my negative in the right spot. Okay, so these negatives are really important in the box. So 3z times z is 3z squared. z times negative 8 is negative 8z. 3z times 5 is 15z. And negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. So we have z squared plus 15z minus 8y minus 40. And if you notice, we can just add those the diagonals together. It's the same thing as right here. We could have just added the diagonals together right there. Okay. Let's look at the next one. All right. Once again, we do the foil. First, outer, inner, last. So um, 5 times 7 is 35, and we have an m squared. 5m times 3 is 15m. n times 7n is 7mn. And n times 3 is 3n. So none of these are like terms, so that's just the way it goes. So let's look what the box gives us. So we have 5m plus n, 7m plus 3. So 5 times 7 is 35m squared. 7mn is right here. And 5 times m is 15m and 3n is the last one. So we have 35m squared, 15m, 7mn, and 3m. Okay, one more time with this one, and then, well, it looks like we have a few more examples there. Okay, and then, so first, outer, inner, last. So 3t times 4y, is 3 times 4 is 12, so 12ty, 3t times 9t, so 3 times 9 is 27, and then we have tz, negative 2x times 4y, so negative 2 times 4 is negative 8xy, and negative 2 times 8 is, or 9 is negative 18xc. So we check everything has a unique term. We have no like terms, so that's our answer. If we had done the box, we would have seen that as well. So we have 3t, going to make that a plus and then make that a minus. 2x and a 4y plus 9z. So 4 times 3 is 12ty. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8xy. And we always put these in alphabetical order, by the way. So if you notice, I've always done that alphabetical order. So 3 times 9 is 27tz, and 9 times negative 2 is minus 18xz. So then we check, we have 12ty, 27tz, negative 8xy, and negative xz.
All right, one more time with a two binomials. Binomial, bi means two and nomial means number. So I have two binomials. So this is our last example with two, the product of two binomials. So we are going to do first outer, inner, last. So two times three is six and we have two X's, so six X squared. 2x times 7 is 14x. 5 times 3x is 15x. And 5 times 7 is 35. So we do have two like terms, so we need to combine them. So our final answer is 6x squared. 14 plus 15 is 29. So we have 29x plus 35. So let's go ahead and figure out what we would have had in the box. So we have 2x plus uh, 5 and 3x plus 7. So two times three is six X squared. Three X times five is 15 X. Two X times seven is 14 X. And five times seven is 35. We have like terms here, so we could circle them to remind us to combine them. So six X squared, these two combined are 29 X and then 35. So when we have this, I would recommend just doing the box. I'll show you the other way just so you appreciate the box though. Okay, so this one we're going to have to go do a foil, um, but we have to distribute them both, okay? So first we foil to each one of these like this. And then we foil to each one of these like that. Okay, so I have 3t times 2t squared is 6t cubed. 3t times 3t, negative 3t is negative 9t squared. And 3t times 1 is 3t. Okay, negative 2 times 2t t squared is negative 4t squared. Negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6t. So be very careful. Two negatives make a positive. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So now we look at what do we have that are like terms. So this one is like that one. And this one is like that one. So we have to combine those like terms. So we have 6t cubed minus, and that's gonna be, we have a negative nine minus four gives us a negative 13t squared. 3t plus 6t is 9t, and we have minus two. All right, so this is what the box would look like for that, which is why I appreciate the box so much. So if we had the box, we would do a two by three. Okay, so I'm gonna put two T squared plus a negative, 3t plus 1 right here. Then I have 3t plus negative 2. Okay, so 3t times 2t squared is 6t cubed. 3t times negative 3t minus t, 9t squared. And 3t times 1 is 3t. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4t squared. And negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6t. 
and negative two times one is negative two. So here we can quickly see these are like terms on this diagonal. These are like terms on this diagonal. So when we add these two, we get a negative 13 t squared. Add these two, we get a nine t squared. And we see we have six t, whoops, six t cubed right here and negative nine, two right there. All right, so this is a really nice technique to use when we start using trinomials. Tri is three, so three numbers. Trinomial, binomial, two numbers. All right, let's do this one last example on the product of expressions. Okay, so, so I showed you the FOIL version. Let's just do the box right now for this one. Because I think the box is just the best way when we're dealing with trinomials. Okay, so, so we have negative 4t. We have a one plus one and plus negative three t squared. So this one we have one plus negative five t. So one times negative four t squared is negative four t, or it's just negative four t. One times one, one times that, uh, negative three t squared is negative three t squared. Now we have two negatives, negative five times negative four, which is 20, but they both have t, so t squared. Negative five t times one is just negative five t, and negative five t times negative three t is positive 15, and we have t cubed. Okay, so when we have this, we see, okay, we have a few things that are like, so, we have this one is like this one, but they aren't organized because these were not organized. Okay. And then we see, well, we have this one is similar to that one. Okay, so we're, and this one has the highest exponent. So we always start by listing, listing the highest degree, and the highest degree means that's the highest exponent. So that term goes first. Next is the square term. So 20 minus three would be 17 t squared. And then finally, we have the t's, negative four plus negative five would be minus nine t. And then there's just a plus one out here. Okay, so that would have been a really difficult problem had we done FOIL. Now, if we did FOIL, we would have had one times all of these. So negative four T plus one minus three T squared and then multiplied by negative five. So that would have given us 20 T squared negative five times one is negative t, and then five times that is plus 15 t cubed. Okay, so then we would add, a, okay, we have that one's like that one, and we have this one, is like that one. So when we combine that one, we start out first. So 15 t squared. Then we look at the t's. So negative three plus 20 is 17 t squared. And then negative four t minus five t is negative nine t. And then there's a one. Okay, so you have two ways you can do it. You can distribute using a FOIL method, or um, well, with trinomials and binomials, it's just called distribution, or you could use this nice little box. 
So it's your choice, whatever you feel comfortable with. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.